a minute or two? We're on. No, we're not on yet. I just have to record. But I'll let everybody in if you're ready. Up to the chair. <laughs> I guess that's me tonight until yes. Ross gets on. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Let everybody in. <clears throat> Recording. Is everybody in Nicole? Yes, I'm just muting everyone. <clears throat> Everyone's in. Okay. Um, and in lieu of Rob running just a little bit late, I'm going to open the Fleckman's meeting for uh, Wednesday, excuse me, August 16th at 5.30. And um, everyone would stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag, the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God indivisible yes, liberty liberty and justice, and justice for all thank you everybody all right so the first thing on the agenda is a visitation from angie bruchard regarding interesting she's interested in informing it informing a committee for the christmas on the common so i see you angie do you want to Hi. talk a little bit how are you good how are you good Good. Um, so also the other person that's going to kind of be in this is Emily Cartier, and she's actually on the meeting as well. Um, we were kind of talking to figure out um, to work with Mimi's, I guess, who already does that, and the Historical Commission of the Library, um, just to kind of figure out some other ideas that we can possibly do and add to the Christmas on the Common. Um, so we were just kind of looking to see if there could be a committee that could be started and um, kind of meet and try to figure out things to do for that. I think that's a fabulous idea. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna add my two cents first because um, it's definitely been a bunch of us randomly just doing certain things and um, hold on. Okay, Rob's gonna be on in five minutes. So that's good. That should get us to where our next um, thing is. So I think it would be great if you know, a committee was formed to kind of pull everything together. And I know I can see that Ann Barnes is on too. She also um, does like the cookie walk, or I think she coordinates maybe try, you know, like the townhouse activities and things like that. So she's also probably a good contact person to um, pull into that just for some feedback or whatnot. But um, I'd be thrilled to see that grow and get a little bit. Yes, I did talk to Ann <laughs> on Saturday. Um, so we went over a couple of things, um, and, you know, so she had said, all right, you want to keep me in touch? And I said, Hey, better yet. Why don't you join the committee? <laughs> so Perfect. I kind of roped her in a little bit. Sorry. Ian. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> so, um, Nicole, do you know what it, like, what it entails to go about like forming an official committee in that, you know, what we have to do? I think the board of selectmen just, um, you know, solicit some, interest in forming a committee and have them send letters to us to uh you know with their interest in what they may bring you know to the to the group okay um, and then appoint them okay i think we have to figure out like how many people should be on it whether there can be alternates i know there's you know kind of and maybe ryan can help us just okay. um make sure that we're doing it the right way well, I'd move that we, the selectmen, set up a committee uh, to uh, foster the uh, Christmas on the Common efforts, and uh, let's uh, see who's interested and take it from there. We got a little time yet. I would second that. So, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Perfect. 
So have and fun, I can Angie. Read you, Angie, regarding, you know, yeah, the website, talk to Ryan. Perfect. To and you guys. Pull that all together, maybe at our next meeting, or, you know, at least have what, what exactly needs to be done just to make it official. Um, but I don't see any harm in you guys, you know, starting to work behind the scenes or do what you got to do to pull everything, you know. Okay, so people that are interested. Yeah, so are we able to do like a Facebook page yet to kind of like put it out there, or do we just want to use the town Facebook? I don't know, like how do we? <laughs> you can use she... the town, use the yeah. town stuff. The town Facebook page. I, I would recommend they use the town stuff. <laughs> Please. Okay. And, yeah, it's and, okay. Then, and then just double check with um Nicole that she's confirmed that with Ryan and you know whether or not we have to appoint first and then you can be active on there or or um you know we can probably put out there that we're looking for people of interest. Okay. Once That's she confirms perfect. with Ryan everything that you know should happen. Okay, great. Thank you guys. Okay. All right, thank you. Hi Rob. Hey. I'm going to hand the meeting back over to you. <laughs> where, where are we at? So, and I do apologize because I skipped over visitor comments because I saw Angie. And um, so I saw that she was sitting there. So I went to um, the new business of Angie and we did, um, we made a motion to allow them to set up a committee. And Nicole's going to check in with Ryan just to make sure that it's done the right way you know, how many members and things like that, but they're excited to try to boost up Christmas on the Commons. Okay. So, but I did skip over visitor comments. So if you wanna do that, then um, by all means. All right, I'll, might as well do a visitor comments. I'm trying to pull up the agenda. Anybody? I don't see any hands. All right. Give it, just give me one sec to pull up the agenda so I can read it while we go here. All right, so yeah, so no, no new business. Um, We got meeting minutes to approve for June 26, 2023 and July 17th, 2023. Do you want a motion? Sure. Okay. Um, I would make a motion to approve the meeting minutes from June 26, 2023 and July 17th, 2023. Second it. Those in favor? Aye. Kelly? Oh, aye. Yes, Kelly, aye. Eric? Aye. Rob, aye. <coughs> um, <clears throat> we have two special licenses, Lively Librations and Timber Yard Brewing Company. We have these two Liquor, I assume they're liquor licenses. Are they one day liquor licenses? I'm sorry, I'm trying to read the agenda. Yeah, li Lively Libations is a one day um, at Still Life Farm. Um, they're having a barbecue. And um, Timber Yard is for the fair. So it's two days. There's just two days? Yeah. Okay. And the Lively Libations mm. is, I think, the 9th of September. Correct. Um, is everything in order, Nicole? All their insurance and all that? Yes. Their TIP certifications, their applications, their insurance is all here. Yeah. Um, I will say that my only comment when I was looking through all this is um, the Lively Libations certificate. I did reach out to Nicole wondering if there were minimums on insurance because they are low limits on her um, policy, which is completely her, you know, at her discretion. 
but I was just didn't know if the town required minimums or um, if the state, you know, for us to be able to issue them required minimums. I mean, I did confirm with the that that there aren't any minimums, but that it is something that the board could consider to to put out there if we wanted to ever, you know, to, you know, um, have minimum limits of liability before we would issue um, any permits. So we can set those at some time if we feel they're necessary. Yes, yeah, some towns, um, some towns mandate at least five hundred thousand dollars either per occurrence or for the liquor liability or a million. It depends on, you know. Again, I think the maybe the occurrences, maybe Boston does. Uh, you know, I just know some towns have minimums, but some don't. None of the ones that I've worked for have. I'm happy to make motions if you're ready for that, Rob. Um, <clears throat> do we want to make a motion on any of these? Yeah. Um, so I would make a motion Goodness. to, oh, all set? Yep. Oh, okay. I would make a motion to approve the one day uh, liquor liability license for. Um, a special license for lively libations and the two one day special licenses for Timber Yard Brewing Company, Inc. I would second that. Okay. Yeah, moved and seconded. Um, any more discussion? All those in favor? Kelly? Aye. Eric? Aye. Rob is a yes. All right. Uh, doesn't have any old business here. Do we have committee reports? There are a few in the packet, and then there's in mine. Police, fire, highway, library. Does any anybody here want to go over their committee reports? Any of the select board members have any comments or questions on them? Nope. Um, the only thing I will say is that um, for the highway department, you know, still being short staffed, and he mentions that in his report, that uh, we just came out of a personnel committee meeting where, um, you know, we are considering and, and looking at surrounding towns. And we actually booked another meeting for next week to keep um, digging into this. We're going to get some more feedback from Lori and Marty and um, maybe tweak the title of the position, make it sound a little, you know, make it more appealing and um, definitely consider, you know, bumping up the position to a different maybe class within the personnel plan so that it is more appealing. So we're still working on that. Okay. So when is that meeting? Um, next Wednesday at five, if that's good with you, because we wanted to confirm that. <laughs> and yeah, Zoom. well, we'll make it work. Okay. I, I apologize for missing it earlier today. Um, <clears throat> Forgiven completely. Um, totally <laughs> absolved. Exactly. <laughs> uh miscellaneous correspondence the only thing i have is um alice parody resigned from the hardwick council on aging uh so she sent a letter in and um and we do have some interest so uh, i'm waiting for um a letter of interest from a resident that wants to be on it that called in and said that they had interest yesterday um and then the only other thing that I thought was that Central Mass Railroad, and I think I did put it in my um, in my report, but they're done working overnight. So they're going back to their day routine that they've been doing all along. Okay. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> next item of business is the town administrator report. Yep. Do you want me to go over that? Yeah. I mean, if you just want to give us the new stuff and okay. any updates on 
the old stuff that you feel prudent. Okay. So with USDA, the wastewater treatment, the Gilbert River wastewater treatment plan is going out to bid um, soon. We advertise for RFQs for sub bidders and general co contractors. We've been getting a lot in and uh, the deadline is Wednesday, August 30th at 10 a.m. Um, the debt repayment is still being discussed. We had I had another meeting with Lori Stevens from RCAP, so we're just continuing our discussions over um, you know the debt repayment and how we're going to approach that and bring it to you guys. Um, and then the oversight, we're still you know I I reached out to Whitewater Wastewater again because they were supposed to reach out to me after a vacation and didn't. So I'm hoping hoping to meet with them soon. Um, Eric. Volheim and I met with Great Her Great Blue Heron Management to discuss the oversight. We had had a meeting well over a year ago regarding the same, and they said, you know, basically their prices are still the same. That's about ninety dollars an hour. They understand, you know, it would be like a you know a bird's eye view sort of thing. You know, not really um, super super in the weeds, but uh, so they're 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 actually fine with all all types of oversight. Um, so that's for, that's for USDA that's moving forward, thankfully. Um, and as of August 1st, we have a new accountant, but who is familiar to us, Lori Delolio. She was the accountant when we had Melanson that then was bought out by Markham. She no longer works for Markham and has been released from her uh, requirement of not working with other towns. So now she is our accountant and we're really happy to have her on she knows our systems she knows all the employees she knows our history so that's already working well um thursday august 10th marty laurie and i met with mass dot district 2 regarding grant opportunities and agencies available to pursue road improvements uh there's a new director i, I don't remember his name now but um he's been meeting with the, all of his district 2 towns so this isn't something that really has been done before but he wanted to kind of really connect with the local um, you know, leaders. I met with RCAP SRF division on Wednesday, August 9th to discuss water and wastewater infrastructure grants. I, I kind of ignored this email because I was, you know, under the impression we are already have these grants from USDA, but this is a different division that would help us with, um, uh, sorry, uh, mapping pipe infrastructure, inflow and infiltration studies, water infrastructure, regulation and policies. So even could potentially help us with the small water department that we have. We filled out a needs assessment and um, we submitted that last week and we'll be waiting to hear back from RCAP, from the SRF division. Um, Tuesday night, there was a major washout in Ma on Main Street near um, the pizza place, pizza house due to this construction and and just you know bad timing with severe rain and it was a big washout and we do apologize for any inconvenience anybody had it really was a Ludlow construction um, job we had some communication breakdown and we didn't have the right emergency contacts for Ludlow so Marty fixed it and was there and made sure that it was clear again so thank you to Marty again um, okay and then the 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 collision repair shop that's across the street from Hardwick Mark, I'm sorry, co-op um, came in and just said, you know, we want to sell cars. And the planning board had given them a special permit to sell cars. It, I, it's kind of a little bit cumbersome to me because they, although they have a special permit from the planning board, they can't sell used cars without a license from the selectmen. And in my in my mind, I just think that a site plan approval is really the more appropriate um, mechanism for planning board to give just for site control because, it, and they are at a compliance right now, we don't have good site control, you know, when it comes to lighting, parking, circulation, et cetera. So before they come to the board, I will, I want to meet with them again because they have, you know, they have junk cars out there. Just, it looks really unsightly. And I think that if they're going to sell used cars, then they should, you know, they should at least, at the very least, be in compliance with their site. So before they come to you for a used car license, I'm, I'm internally going uh, back and forth with the potential applicant to uh, come into compliance before they apply for that license. Yeah, if I could jump in, I was uh, planning board then, and we gave them a permit to run a business to repair cars, and we gave them a maximum, I think, of ten vehicles on the site. 
uh, you know, not to become a junkyard. And I know the guys, they're nice guys, but uh, they've been pushing it. So, um, you know, it should go back to maybe the planning board. We have to sign a license for them to be a used car dealer. And uh, I think they need to, I'd say they need to come into compliance with their original special permit and stop pissing Nicole off pretty much. No, that's not it. No, no, no. I mean, me too. No, I've been watching it. I, I know how you, you know, we've talked about it. I think they're, yeah, and I, yeah, I think I they're nice guys, question. but they're just pushing it and need to be reined in a little. And I, and I don't, I don't want to, um, whether they're nice or not, I don't know them at all. That's, I don't have any, anything personal against them. I don't, I have, I absolutely do not know what they are. Um, I just, I just see the site and, you know, it's, it's a nice road. It's a nice ride. And then you see this and you have junk cars and you have junk like campers and things like that. And I don't think that is the intent of the planning board or of the town of Hardwick to allow, to allow the site to become so out of compliance. They're outside of their, uh. Uh, regulations. They got a boat over there. Yeah, they got all sorts of stuff. So. so do we handle it or do we give it back to the planning board or talk so to the I, I, inspector? He's the zoning compliance. Right. Is, isn't there anything with the planning board? Doesn't that go back to the building inspector? Yeah. He's the aren't they they're supposed to enforce that? Yep. yep. That's if we don't have a site plan approval. So, you know, to have a, an area where, what, what, what? Code for the meeting, who wants it? For the Zoom meeting? Oh, oh Matt, they're already approved. <laughs> Sorry, Matt is here from Timber Yard Brewing. He, he was looking for the code to get in, but I just told him that it was approved. They have to sign the license though. It's not cool. Okay, right, right. I, I came, uh, Audrey suggested I come in case they had any questions. Okay. Me. I had a chemical spill as I was walking out the door when my employees flushed and so be caustic, so that's why I'm late. My apologies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if you guys had any questions for me, I'm happy to answer them, but it sounds like you already approved it. Yeah, I'll, everything was in order and everything was submitted right. accordingly. So I'll give you a call as soon as they sign this license for you to come pick up. Okay, thank you. So thank Sorry, so so uh, they don't if, without a site plan approval, you know, without some them showing exactly where where they park, where their cars are, um, you know, where the cars for sale are, where the customers are, where their employees are, what kind of lighting they have. They had the flag um, signage out there for a while, you know, that isn't really allowed. So there's there's yeah, it's definitely um, building inspector, but you know again to go back to eric's point to just be friendly and just kind of educate them on really what they should be doing and how they should be conducting their collision business before they come and apply for a class two have they have they made that application they have not well, well, well i'll go over and talk to them and tell them that they have to get in touch with the planning board and find out what they're doing wrong and fix it before they apply if the board agrees that that's the way to go. <laughs> yeah, essentially yeah. that's what we were talking, I was talking to them about that, you know, we wouldn't recommend that the board approve a license if they're out of compliance currently so that they should clean up their place, know what they have a, you know, know what they have a permit for um, and make sure that they're being diligent about keeping it in compliance, you know, because you can just deny the license and they can't buy or sell cars. They can't go to an auction. They can't buy or sell vehicles. I just wanted to let you guys know that, that it's, I'm, I'm in the conversation with them. And Eric is, is of course, more than. No, no, if you're, if you're doing that, then I'll stay out of it. Yeah, I think um, we should see where it goes and see if they, you know, can kind of clean up a little bit. Um, so that's all I really have for new. The town hall is is done now. The the flooring is in, and um, they're all done. They're gone. It looks great. Um, we're still looking at options on fixing it. I have an appointment next week with 
Guardian Energy and National Grid to talk about alternate heating methods. And I'm still hoping to hear from, you know, our HVAC guys, professionals that um, live in town and are on our boards that have offered to give us some assistance. So, um, and I, I think everybody knows paving <laughs> has started on Main Street in Gilbertville and it was big delays this week. Uh, I don't know exactly where they're at, but they're not done. Um, and that's, that's it. So, Michael, Michael. Well. Eric, yeah, um, I I think we should uh, think about the uh, oversight, the clerk of the works. Uh, I've talked to Graves Engineering that we use a lot in planning board, <laughs> and like uh, Nicole said, I, I helped meet with uh, Blue Heron, and I thought they were great. Uh, I think we need to, I'd suggest that we come up with sort of a scope of services. Um, we need to transmit the plans to uh, both of these guys and anybody else that we want to drag into. But we have to decide what we're kind of looking for, how much we need oversight or how many days a week or whatever. Right. Um, and I said I would, I, I did say at the last meeting, I think that I would work on that. And I think I started it. And I'm happy to um, pick that back up. I apologize. I've been away for a couple of weeks. So um, I will, yeah. I can try to do that tomorrow and send it out to everybody to look at. That'd be Just great. Like the scope of service yeah. that we could maybe put together for, you know, a request for um, for proposals. Yeah, good. I will. Putting that in my right now. Thank you, Kelly. Yeah, sorry I dropped the ball on that. That's all right. It's uh, we're on holiday. You read seven books, you said. I read eight books. Eight time. books. It was lovely. <laughs> Good. Um, <clears throat> well, actually, uh, so next thing would be Selectman's round table, and I think Eric pretty much hit the nail on the head with her where we got to focus yeah. on dealing with this. Um, I, I am a little concerned that we're falling behind schedule with the engineering on getting these things out to bid and meeting our deadlines with the USDA. Um, I, I hope this, if this could come up in the next meeting with the USDA and the engineer about the schedule, because they're falling so far behind now <clears throat> that realistically they're going to have about a year to get these projects done. And I know that's going to be tough. It's going to be on a very tight time frame. So is, is the USDA aware of this and are they going to give us the time we need? Cause these are the engineers that they picked for the town to do this job. So I, I feel it's important that we get this out now to be discussed. I I know you have a weekly meeting with them. So if you could bring it up, Nicole, I, I would appreciate that. If there's mm -hmm. anything I need to do to jump in and, and have this discussion, I'd be more than happy to. Thanks. Um, I'll, I'll add my two cents and I'm sure Nicole will add on to this that um, one of the last meetings that I was on and um, Joe Delvo, Delvo, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right, but he was actually on the call. And I, what I'm getting from them is that they're completely okay with how this is going between them and DPC. Um, I didn't feel there was any reason to worry um, at all. And I, I jump on most meetings, uh, you know, just to, I just sit in and listen, you know, mostly. Um, but I have been pretty much since the start of them and jumping onto them. And um, I, I think that USDA is well aware of the track that we're on. And, and Joe seems very pleased actually that it's, as long as we keep moving, like he's happy. Yeah, I mean, I, I get that, but there is language in this, the, the LOC about where we're supposed mm -hmm. to be at what time frames, and and we're really, pushing that and it's 
I, I hate to get caught in another technicality like we did last time. No, I, and, yeah, understandable. But, um, I, if, if everybody's aware of it, if we make record of it and, and it's all signed off and good that, you know, let's be, be aware that we're running behind and that the time frame realistically is a year and a half or something to build these plants and, or whatever they figure it is. And that's going to put us beyond our timing that we, the USDA has given us. I just, I I'd feel a little more comfortable if we had something somewhat in writing at some point from them. Yeah, I was going to suggest. Sorry. Right. Go ahead, Derek. I was going to suggest we write a letter, kind of specifying this, and just to make sure, just to have it in the paper trail that we're okay. Yeah. I don't know right. about any of the dates. I'm still not up to speed on this whole project, but. Seems well, like really, really, I think we have at this point about a year before we're going into needing to get an extension, but the extension time is only six months. So if we're a year and a half out on a plant that hasn't been put out the bid yet to get built, it, you know, that puts us already puts us over. Right. Um, I know they can try accelerated schedules and stuff like that, but those only work if you can get the materials. And that's yeah. not a guarantee these days. Not at all. So, um, so. I don't know, maybe by the 28th, we can have another discussion if if Nicole can touch on it this week's meeting and, and we maybe discuss it at our, our next Selectman's meeting just to I just don't want to forget about it because mm. we've been through a lot to keep this grant and the town's been through a lot to keep this grant. So let's not lose on some technicality. Yeah. You get anyone else got anything for select board round table? Anything anyone want to add, subtract? Any other motions anyone wants to make? Motion to adjourn. Rob, you're all garbled. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes. Um, somebody does there... have their hand up. Rob? Oh, who? Do you want? It's Trisha Tinker. And Bill, Trisha and Bill. <laughs> My back? You're back. Yeah. Okay, Hello? our mute button was on. It's fine. Let him speak. Okay. okay. I, I just wanted to touch base with the town and make sure that Nicole has and you have received the open meeting law complaint I filed. Or, well, Trisha hand delivered it to the town. Regarding July 18th meeting. Yes, I received it from Trisha. Okay. Uh, and I I did... Sorry, go ahead. And I was just curious if, if you had any questions for me and I could give you an idea like what I was thinking in the process. Um, it's on it's on the open meeting law website where it says you must be able to, without limitation, allow everybody in. And Trisha and I weren't able to get in. And there were many other people that weren't able to get in. And I just want, and it's all in your video because I watched your video last night. And if you go through it and look at it as a, not a board of selectmen, but if you were a town resident, a lot of town residents were blocked out of this meeting. They weren't, one, they weren't allowed to ask questions. Two, they weren't even able to see it. And you, you didn't adequately control the meeting. She gave host privileges to the presenter, Brian, I think his name was Oliver. And can she, I can I just stop yeah. you for a second there, no. Bill? So, okay. You know, I, I just want to make a clarification. If, if you read the agenda for that meeting, that yeah. was a, 
a presentation to the select board. So with no that information was whole, given. Yes, that was the whole idea where those people were coming in to present to the select board. Okay. This was and not I a it was not an open uh not an open meeting. It was an open meeting. It wasn't a public hearing where the where you and the, the rest of the citizens in town are going to be able to question what they were going to do. Okay. Can I speak? Yep. Go are back. You okay? Go ahead. Okay. So to for the town to be in compliance, you need adequate alternative means. And we have the right to watch this, even though you're saying we don't have the right to speak, but yet you opened it up to the public, which is this presenter, who I don't know if he lives in the town, doesn't live in the town. And he was from the public and allowed to speak, but the rest of the public was not allowed to ask questions and was blocked out of the meeting. So there was no accessibility. And so I don't, I, me, that's why I filed the complaint because I don't believe the town has provided adequate alternative means and is not in compliance with the holding a meeting via Zoom or anything else. <laughs> this has been, as I said, okay, as I said before, Bill, the person that was speaking was the one that was giving the presentation to the town. Two of the select board members abstained from being involved in the discussion. Only one member of the select board was actually involved with the with any, there was actually no discussion, if I remember correctly, if you watch the video. I, I watched we, the video. We had yesterday. the presentation. And I, I understand, I understand something went wrong with technology. There was a failure in technology. But in the defense of this this board. In mm -hmm. the public, in of what we have tried to do, this thing was just videotaped, and it was played for everybody. They were able to watch it. I I duly apologize to everybody who wasn't allowed to get into the thing, but we had a technical glitch. We had a presentation. The board didn't even ask any questions. We didn't even pursue any questions. There was no information withheld from the public. There was no vote taken by the board. We had a presentation that was presented. You were able to watch that presentation and you were yeah, able last night. to go on. And I understand that there was a, a glitch here. We didn't have enough, whatever it was, uh, ability yeah, to the have town, enough people. Well, was it a town meeting or not a town meeting? It was a select board meeting. And as right. I said, and Bill, I, I understand. the right to attend. And, and also, you, you recuse yourself, which I get, and I saw that in the very beginning, but I didn't see anything from Kelly if she has a conflict or in, interest in this at all, or not, and she actually voted on this. So I, I was just curious how that what, plays out. I'm sorry, what did I vote on, Bill? The, whatever Eric Volheim um, said at the end of the meeting. That, to adjourn? That you received not to adjourn, but to, to, accept to acknowledge the, the presentation, presentation. Yeah. let me finish, please, let me speak, okay? Um, at the end of the meeting, you, I, through the whole meeting, I didn't hear anything that you recused yourself or you had a conflict of interest. Because I had- And, and people in the to town need to know that. And I, it, if you watch the next meeting, it is duly noted because I then went to ethics and I filed my form and it is on file with the town clerk and you are happy to go read it. It is public information. Okay. I will not and be so, partaking in anything to do with this if it continues to take action. Well, see, these are, these are things. I don't know why the haste, the rush to push this through and not you know, even review the information. Eric Volheim received, it, received that information the same day of the meeting. That wasn't made public to the people of this town 48 me. hours in advance. Excuse me, can I speak? Yes, you can, Eric. Chair, Mr. Chair. Um, yes, Eric, you have the floor. I was there. Um, I didn't receive anything before that presentation. And all I saw it was a motion to state that we had received the presentations. 
And then I told him that uh, we'd be in touch. That's all that I remember from that night. So I had no information before that meeting from anybody except rumors for the last year. So, okay. Very, well, see, that's very, that's half the problem right now is the town doesn't have information and the rumor mill is going crazy. I mean, I'm going to stop this conversation right here. Well, Bill, Bill, we, we're not going to go fine. anywhere. Well, thank you. Thank I mean, you I for filed my complaint and I, I'd like a response. And I'm just letting you know that the town, in my point of view, and maybe other people, Bill, are not in compliance. Nicole, can you mute him, please? We're done here. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm I'm not going to just argue over pointless stuff. We'll, we'll give a response when we when we put a response together. It's my understanding that it's um, gone to legal, correct? For yes. opinion? Yes. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm 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 not say no more and yeah. let the issue die right now. Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Eric? Aye. Kelly? Aye. Rob, aye. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Have yeah. a good night. Sleep tight.